hello get traders welcome back to the channel in this video i want to show you one of my secret smart money concept for finding trade entries i'm going to show you how to spot them live on your chart then how you can properly use them and take trades almost every day they are called mitigation blocks i'm going to show you that on a chart but let's start by sketching it live here before we go to the chart and then we are going to spot them and i will show you the techniques i use for taking trade with them so a mitigation block can actually be found on a market that has this pattern let me show you if you have a market like this forming a proper market structure with a retracement we have a movement from here to here and if we have a failure swing at some point this is the formation and price decides to crash down and violate this last order block remember if you're finding your order block it is normally the last bearish candle that price traded through from this level and in an ideal smart money concept we expect this order block to reject price as price was coming down around this area we want to see price push up again because this other block is a very powerful institutional reference point that price should react around and start going up but if we have a failure from this other block to reject price we are eventually going to violate that other block and then we will have market crashing down to this side so this order block is now our mitigation block it is no longer an order block we want to see price come back to that particular block this time around to this area and react around this level and push price downward so this order block is now our mitigation block let me mark it out so you can see it is what we call a mitigation block this order block it is no longer an order block but a mitigation block which we want to see price react around so this is what we call a mitigation block so just like other block we have a bearish mitigation block and a bullish mitigation block in this regard this is a bearish mitigation block because it is the last bearish candle that price traded through so from here we expect to see price push down to this level you're going to see them practically on your chart let me just finish sketching it for you and then we're going to go to the chart and then you will see a lot of them so this is your mitigation block and then you can have a pattern like this the same way this time around is a bullish mitigation block okay a failure swing and then we have market pushing up and then coming back to this level and test this other block that was violated okay remember i said this used to be an order block but this time around it has been violated so it is no longer an order block it is a mitigation block and in this regard it is a bullish mitigation block because it pushes price up from this level okay so this is exactly what we are looking for we just map this level and then adjust it let me just show you how to properly see that so this is our bullish mitigation block and then this is our bearish mitigation block remember the mitigation block should have a failure swing we don't want to see it take out this level okay this is where we have a failure swing and then at this area too we have a failure swing if we have this failure swing and then it crashes down to this side and come back to retest this particular order block that was violated it is now a mitigation block so let's go to the chart and find them and you can see how to use this very powerful technique for trade entry i'm seeing a lot of them right here so let's start with this particular one let me delete everything right here so look at what i'm seeing right here if i adjust this to this level let me show you what i'm saying can you see this area price came all the way from this place to this level and then retraces back and then came back again failure swing and it crashes down to this side and then look at it we formed the exact pattern we were looking for an m formation you can see this is a formation of mitigation block failure swing price coming to crash down to this side then it is coming back look at it the last bearish candle that was printed is now our mitigation block we will map it out like this and expect price to come back to that level so this is how we trade this once we see this happen if price come back to this mitigation block around this area we can see this is our sell area okay this is our sell area because this is a bearish mitigation block just like i told you then you make sure that your stop loss is just right above the failure swing okay the failure swing or if you have a small mitigation block you can put your stop loss just right above it and then you can take price 
your take profit will be determined according to how you want to see it you can start by one is to one and then you can later expand it to one is to two as long as you have an entry being given to you by price so this is actually how to spot a bearish mitigation block you can see a lot of them on a chart but i'm just showing you how this forms this is a mitigation block this bearish candle that was last printed let me expand it a bit so you can see is your mitigation block so let's find a lot of them that we can see on the chart i'm seeing another one right here you can just take your guess and tell me which of them is the mitigation block look at it okay we have price move to this side come back and then failure swing it crashes down and then it came back to test this level look at it the last bearish candle that was printed this was the last bearish candle let me just map it out for you to see it okay so price actually came and this is our sell area this is actually our sell area if we have one is to one from this trade we are perfectly okay one is to one or one is to two so our target is right here we hit our target before price started going up again so we can go through our chart and see a lot of them i'm going to show you a lot of these things happening on your chart over and over again you can see another one let me show you this you can see this forming most of the time on your chart you want to see this look at this price came to this level okay and then came back this time around is a bullish mitigation block look at it price push to this area we have price violating this you see order block and then it came right to this particular order block this time around is the last bullish candle that price printed that we will mark this is our bullish mitigation block so if we expand it you're going to see it. so this time around we have a bullish market we put our target right here and then remember your stop loss is right below the failure swing and then you can start with one is to one and then if you have chance you can expand it to up to this level so you can see this happening guys over and over mitigation block is one of my favorites you can see them on your chart forming now i'm going to show you one of the secret i use for this entry i use the two time frame rules for entry in this kind of situation i'm seeing something like a mitigation block right here but i'm not sure this will give us what we want this movement it came back to this area and then we have a failure swing it came all the way to this side it came back but it never touched our bullish candle okay so we may not pay attention to this we just give up on this if you don't see it come back to this area please give up on it we have such kind of situations happening time and time again but we don't want to guess this kind of thing we just let it be we will have another entry let me find another one for you so you can see them happening over and over on your chart look at something right here guys i'm seeing this and i'm tempted to use it as a mitigation block we have price coming to this area come back to this level we can see it okay and then it pushed to this side we have it coming back to this level our last bullish candle that was printed was this guy okay this guy was the last bullish candle that our price printed and then we put our target here you can see them happening time and time again our stop loss we can use one is to one and then we can later expand it as we see price giving us exactly what we are looking for for price entry so you can see these things let me find another one you can see them time and time again on your chart you don't have to struggle don't force yourself on it make sure you stay patient to see how these things form we can see a mitigation block here we have price like this come back then we have it it took out this level and price came back to this area we can see it at this point this is our bullish mitigation block okay so our trade entry will be around this area this level then we will have our stop loss right below the failure swing and then we can start from one is to one and then we can expand it as price give us entry that we are looking for so you can see this over and over and over and over again happening this is like a mitigation block but i'm not seeing exactly what i'm looking for you can see price came came back to this area and then it pushed up but it never came back to the last bullish candle that price printed this last bullish candle was not retested so we are expecting to see price come back to this level before we can take the buy so we will just let it be we don't want to force our opinion on this i've also made a video on how to use a breaker block this is mitigation block so we don't want to force our opinion on it so let's check another one if we can find 
and if we cannot find them let me go to my mt5 and then we're going to find another one right there okay. and you can see another one right here i'm going to show you how i take trade with this okay so right here i have something that i'm looking for we have price came back to this area and then it pushed up to this level again came back to this area and then we broke above it to this level this is our failure swing and then we have it come back and test our last bullish candle okay so we don't want to see price push outside okay so this is our entry target this is where we will enter but i want to minimize your risks you can actually minimize your risks if you want by going to the lower time frame just one time frame lower from the time frame you found your mitigation block okay in this regard we have a bullish mitigation block so we will go to 15 minutes because this is one hour time frame if we drop down to 15 minutes we're going to find it right here let's go to that place if we can find it in that area i think i will be glad to see it okay see it right here this was the mitigation block that we mapped out in that one hour time frame so if you want to take your trade without any fear you can patiently wait for something like this you can see this area where we have a break of structure around this area in the lower time frame we have a break of structure we have return to order block we have an order block inside this so we can take trade at such kind of area okay this kind of level is where we can take trade and then we can be so sure of taking trade from that area even in this lower time frame i can see a mitigation block that i'm very very interested in taking trade from you can see this guy push up to this level then we have another push down okay we have a failure swing from this area and then it came crashing to this side okay came crashing to this area and then it came back to test this last bearish candle that was formed this was the last bearish candle that was formed so this is where we can take our trade this is 15 minutes if we want to minimize our risk we can go to the five minute and then see how we can take trade from that area okay from the five minute you can actually see from the five minute this is the 15 minute mitigation block and we had a change of character right here okay we have a complete change of character at this area and then we have return to order block you can see this is return to order block at this area this is our trade entry we can enter our trade from here and come down this is more sure for us to take trade like that if you find value right here guys make sure you subscribe to this channel and if you have any question let me know this is a mitigation block i'm tempted to see a lot of this happening over and over again we have a mitigation block at this area we have a failure swing this is mt5 that's why i'm not able to draw perfectly with it we have price crashing to this area our last bearish candle was this area okay Okay, this is our last bearish candle and then we can take our trade from there. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.